So this is w divided by negative 9 equals negative 4. Well, this is, um, this one's a little different, right? It, it looks different. It probably even feels a little different. But how do I make that negative 9? Because right now it's, it's kind of the part of the coefficient of w. Now that we're worried about that. But how do I make that negative 9 a 1, right? Because I really just want w. I don't want w divided by negative 9. Which really means I want 1 there. Well, w divided by negative 9, if I wanted a 1 there, I would simply multiply that by negative 9. Now, without going to fraction multiplication, it's really negative 9 over 1. But what this does is it makes that a 1. And I, I didn't just cross those out. That's really a slanted 1. Just remember, if you do it to one side, you got to do the other side as well. So... 1w now, because negative 9 divided by negative 9 is 1, is going to equal negative 4 times negative 9. There's two negatives being multiplied. 2 is even, so the answer is a positive. 4 times 9 is 36. So let's just go back and check, right? We got 36 divided by negative 9. Does that equal negative 4? And yes, it does. 36 divided by negative 9 would make that a negative 4. That's true. Negative 4 does equal negative 4. So that completes that one. Again, you don't have to show the 1 there. But if you want to, that's fine too. Let, let's address that um, inverse operation stuff. So when we look at problems when we solve equations... Really, what we're either trying to do, and um, this may seem like a long explanation, but it's part of the part of the presentation anyways. There's two values we're trying to make when we solve equations. Two values. And this, of course, is outside of distribution and combining like terms, which we will see. You either want to make one of these two values each time. You either want to make zero or you want to make one, which we've shown, right? Either you make a value of 0 or you make it a 1. In this case, we made it a 1, right? Well, for this specific problem, how do you make a 1? Well, right there it was, it, it used to be w divided by negative 9. Well, this is where inverse operations come in handy. So, see how it's w divided by 9? Well, how do you undo division... You undo division with its inverse operation, which is multiplication. So what I did is I multiplied it by 9. And since I multiplied... I'm sorry, negative 9. Since I multiplied it, I divided something that I multiplied by itself. It makes that a phantom 1 right there. So w, w divided by negative 9. When I multiply it by negative 9, right... And this is going to fraction multiplication, which we haven't gotten into, but I'm going to show it anyways, because hopefully it will help. I have um, negative 9 over 1, which I'm multiplying it by. Well, this multiplied together, I'll give myself more space here, would be the same as negative 9, W, that's the numerators multiplied together, and the denominators multiplied together is also negative 9. Well, what do we see here? Well, let me use a different color. What do we see here with this negative 9 and negative 9? It's being divided, right? And anything divided by itself makes that a 1. Now, we still got that W. And that's why that becomes a 1W. So, uh, to emphasize this, we're making zeros or 1s. I'll just finish this thought. Is when you're making 0... You'll either do it with addition or subtraction, the principles of equality, right? And when you're making one, you're either going to be using, just like we saw in this example, either multiplication or division. So this one, it was divide by negative nine. We made a one by multiplying it by itself, right? Negative nine. Uh, or you could, you know, you know, you can consider the fraction multiplication bit right there.